Hi everybody. Welcome to Edupedia World. In this session, we are going to see example regarding addition of numbers which are of five digits. So, we are going to learn how to add a five digit numbers by using Vindavangana method in Vedic mathematics. So, now let us see an example. Example number five. So here in this example number 5, I have taken some 5 digit numbers that are 23,145 plus 67,098 plus 56,743 plus 34,523 plus 45,806. So before going to add the numbers whether they are of 5 digit or 4 digit or 3 digit or some different digits. First of all we have to set them in some specific rows and columns by their place values like this. After setting these numbers we have to start adding the digits from the rightmost column which are in 1's place. Now, let us start adding the digits in the first column that is from 1's place. Now let us add. So here 6 plus 3 you will get 9 and 9 plus 3 you will get 12. I have already told you that whenever adding the digits if you get a number that is equal to 10 or more than 10 you have to leave one and you have to place a dot instead of leaving that one on the top of the number. Here on the top of 3 you have to place a dot. So here you got 12. So you have left one instead of leaving that one you have put a dot on the top of the number 3 and the remaining 2 here again should be added to the next number that is H. Again, 2 plus 8. So the number here you got is 10. 10 is a two digit number. So again, you have to put a dot on the 8 by leaving 1. Now the remaining number is 0. Now 0 plus 5 is 5. Now write that 5 in the answers place. Now what you have to do here is count the number of dots. How many dots are there in the first column? The number is 2. Now this 2, the count should be added to the next column that is 10's column. Now let us add this count to the first digit that is 0. 2 plus 0 will get 2 and again 2 plus 2 will get 4. Again here 4 plus 4 will get 8 and 8 plus 9 will get 17. So 17 is a two digit number. So therefore you have to leave one and instead of leaving that one you have to place a dot on the top of the number 9 like this and in the number 17 the remaining number or the remaining digit is 7. This 7 should be added to the next number that is 4. Now 7 plus 4 you will get 11. This is also a 2 digit number. So therefore again you have to leave 1. Instead of leaving that 1 you have to place a dot on the number 4. Now the remaining number should be written in the answers place like this. Now as usual we just count the number of dots that you have got in the second column that is the tens column. How many dots are appearing in the second column? It's just two. Now just add this count to the next column's first digit that is H. Two plus H you will get ten. So we got a two digit number so therefore we have to leave one Instead of leaving one, put a dot on the top of the number 8. Now, the remaining number 0 should be added to the next number that is 5. 
so 0 plus 5 is 5 and 5 plus 7 will get 12 so 12 again it is a two digit number so leave one instead of leaving put a dot on the top of the number 7 so you got here 12 and the remaining number is 2 that 2 should be added to the next number 0 so 2 plus 0 is 2 and again 2 plus 1 is 3 so that number should be written in the answers place like this 3 I have written that 3 in the answers place now count the number of dots how many dots are there in the third column that is hundreds column means are there two only two dots are appearing in the third column again these counts should be added to the next column that is thousands column first digit that is five now two plus five is seven seven plus four is eleven again you got a two digit number so leave one instead of leaving one put a dot on the top of the number four now the remaining number one should be added to the next number that is six so one plus six is seven now seven should be added to the next number seven seven plus seven you will get fourteen so fourteen is a two digit number so leave one instead of leaving that one put a dot on the top of the number seven so you got here fourteen the remaining number four is there that four should be added to the next number three so four plus three is seven and write that seven in the answers place here now again count the number of dots how many dots are you able to see in thousands column there are only two dots so here the number of dots is two and this count should be added to the next column that is ten thousands column first digit four now two plus four is six and six plus three you will get nine now nine plus five you will get fourteen 14 is a two digit number so leave one instead of leaving one put a dot on the top of the number 5 so here you have got 14 the remaining number is 4 again 4 should be added to the number 6 so 4 plus 6 you will get 10 again you got a two digit number so leave one instead of leaving that one put a dot on the top of the number the remaining number 0 should be added to 2 so 0 plus 2 I think you know that 0 is an additive identity so whatever you add to 0 or whatever a number is added whatever the number if it is added to 0 you will get that number only so you will get 2 here write that 2 in the answers place like this after writing the answer in the answers place now count how many dots are there in the column in this column you can see two dots so the count is two and there are no more other columns to add this count so what you have to do just write that number of dots that is the count of dots beside these two and therefore we have got the answer here the answer is 2 lakhs 27,350 so when you add all these numbers you will get this answer that is 2 lakhs 27,350 and I think you have understood very well how to use dot method or Bindavankana method in doing additions especially this type of bigger additions can be simplified can be evaluated very easily by using this dot method which is stated in Vedic mathematics 
Hope you have understood well about the dot method or Bindavansanam method. Now, have a nice day. Thank you.